Conor McGregor gifts John Jones his proper 12 whiskey after a win on UFC comeback. Conor McGregor sent John Jones and his team bottles of his proper 12 whiskey to celebrate the light heavyweight's return to the UFC. Jones stopped Alexander Gustafsson in the third round of their main event of UFC 232 in California, to stamp his comeback with an impressive win. The new light heavyweight champion's return to the octagon was overshadowed by another drugs controversy, as the U.S. anti-doping agency decided there would be no further suspensions handed down to Jones despite a recent positive test. Conor McGregor's manager gives update on notorious 2019 UFC return Daniel Cormier, even Lance Armstrong is weighing in on dirtbag John Jones Aaron Chalmers hopes to one day upgrade from reality star turned MMA fighter McGregor was not in attendance for fight night, but was obviously keen to show his support for Jones, who many fans consider to be the greatest fighter of all time despite his doping history. Jones has always denied he has ever intentionally taken performance-enhancing drugs and called out old-rival Daniel Cormier after beating Gustafsson. Dana White and the UFC's vice president of athlete health and performance Jeff Nowitzki have strongly rejected claims they have bent the rules in order for Jones to compete, but were forced to move the event to California from Las Vegas just six days before fight night. I'm learning about this taurine apple and I hear that it could possibly be in my body for the next seven years, which is really scary," Jones said after the fight. Tonight, I got drug tested by two different agencies. Yesterday, I got drug tested by VETA, the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association, for the first time. And I'm excited to be tested by the most legit drug testing agencies in the world so that we can learn exactly what this is and get to the bottom of it. Jones tested positive for Torine Abel in July 2017 which resulted in his victory over Cormier at UFC 214 to be ruled a no contest. John Jones Def. Alexander Gustafsson, TKO, Punches, R3, Amanda Nunes Def. Chris Cyborg Co, Punch, R1, Michael Kisa Def. Carlos Condit, Sub, Gimora, R2. Corey Anderson Def. Ilya Latifi, Ud Alexander Volkanovsky Def. Chad Mendez, TKO, Punches, R2, Walt Harris Def. Andrei Arlovsky, SD Megan Anderson Def. Kat Zingano, TKO, I Injury, R1, Petter Yen Def. Douglas Silva de Andrade, TKO, Corner Stoppage, Ryan Hall Def. BJ Penn, Sub, Heel Hook. R1, Nathaniel Wood Def. Andre Ewell, Sub, Rear Naked Choke, R3, Ryle Hall Def. Bevan Lewis, Co, Punch, R3, Curtis Millinder Def. Sire Bahadur Zada, Unanimous Decision Montel Jackson Def. Brian Kelleher, Submission, Dars Choke, R1, 1 After suggesting the resulting suspension was unjust. Bones revealed he intends to get that no contest when reinstated as a victory. If there were short-term metabolites found in my body, you would be able to tell that something got in me recently, Jones said. Conor McGregor's teammate reveals truth about UFC star potentially losing his coach James Gallagher on his confidence soaring after defeat, I'm not afraid of the big fall in the first drug test situation with Daniel Cormier, they found a long-term metabolite in my body. There were no short-term metabolites being found in my body. I don't know how long this has been in my body, but I'd eventually like to fight to get my Daniel Cormier fight overturned. More, Daniel Cormier, even Lance Armstrong is weighing in on dirtbag John Jones.